Hey guys, so one of the requests that I've gotten from a few of you over the last few weeks is um, a lesson on the rhythm parts for uh, Venus Isle, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, before we get into it, we'll go over the signal chain because I know a few of you will ask. So I've got an old Strat, a couple of old Fenders, a Twin Reverb and a Vibrolux Reverb, a Belly Pocket Lux, which does a pretty nice job um, emulating the old Echoplex EP3, a Deluxe Memory Man for a bigger wash, TC Electronic Stereo Core splits the signal in two and then provides some light chorusing heavy chorus in either way, and then a Strymon Big Sky to uh, give me a longer tail on the note. Um, on, the, on the record, he used a synth guitar for this track, so um, this is how we'll kind of start heading in that direction without having to use MIDI or, or, or anything like that, um, bigger sound. So uh, with that said, we'll get right into it. Um, starts off in uh, C major. This guitar is old, and um, the strings are old, and the frets are worn to like nubs, and the radius is super uh it's like seven and a quarter so if we screw up we screw up we're just gonna have to deal with it today all right so starts up in c major <laughs> is too much, just remove your middle finger and play. That's kind of like a G5, going from E uh, down to D, so alternatively you could go like... A5 
five here. I think it's an A major, if I'm not mistaken, with a third in the bass, but either way, uh, it's ninth fret here on the A, on the E, excuse me, uh, seventh fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, tenth fret on the B. over to the bridge, harmonic on the A, and then a couple of double stops on the, uh, you're going to be on the G and B strings for these, so 10, 10, 9, 8, uh, 7, 6, and then you're going to do, uh, it's almost like, it's another version of a C major, uh, maybe that's a major 6, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, And then you're going to do um, seventh fret of the D, ninth fret of the G, eighth fret of the B. And then you're going to move two fingers down to the uh, seventh fret of the D and uh, sixth fret of the B. And then uh, some pretty crazy chords here. This is like a C uh, with a major sixth. But uh, the, the third is suspended into a fourth, so. And then this is almost like a G, um, kind of like a G major, but the third is in the bass, and there is, I guess, a second interval uh, up on the top. Same chord that we did here on the G, we're going to move that up to um, the eighth fret. Just a, uh, on the A string, five, 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 and then you kind of start it over again, right? So, repeat that whole thing. When we get into the chorus, rather than looping around, um, after we do uh, the, the four chords here and we end up on this one, we're going to go to um, an E flat, neither major nor minor, we're going to mute the third. Open D, third fret of the G, first first on the B and uh, A uh, E, excuse me. And that's basically like um, I guess a B flat major type of a thing. And that's a C five with a G in the bass. That's kind of like a C nine lockdown.